Now for Norrish type 2. Like Norrish type 1, the carbonyl is excited with light. But unlike Norrish type 1, that plays on the weakened carbonyl carbon alpha carbon bond, the Norrish type 2 reaction makes a diradical of the original pi bond. In this initial depiction, we will show the two lone pairs as well, but we're going to drop them for brevity in subsequent depictions. Please remember that they are still there. The oxygen radical abstracts the hydrogen of the gamma carbon to create a hydroxyl group and a gamma carbon radical. Next, there are two possible paths. Either the two radicals directly interact with each other to make a new sigma single bond that provides a cyclobutane. Alternatively, the alpha-beta carbon single bond is broken homogeneously, with one electron interacting with the alcohol carbon's radical to form an enol, whilst the other alpha-beta carbon single bond's electron combines with the gamma carbon's radical to generate an alkene. Most of the enol tautomerizes to become a ketone. Another reaction that utilizes the diradical former carbonyl is the paterno buchi. In common with Norrish type 2, the carbonyl is excited with light and then ultimately generates the diradical. This then reacts with a generic alkene. Here, specifically, it's a furan. The alkene's pi bond is homogeneously broken with one of the electrons making a sigma single bond with the oxygen radical, whilst the other alkene electron forms a sigma single bond with the carbon radical to provide an oxytane. This is where we have a four-membered ring with single bonds made up of three carbons and one oxygen. 